How often do you smoke marijuana these days? Hmm. Too much. Just marijuana? Of course. <laughs> and I've seen people smoke other things. Nah, we strictly marijuana over here. <laughs> Some people do cigarettes and marijuana. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But Not you. I'm, I'm marijuana. Now, smoking marijuana can do different things for different people. What does it do for you exactly? Ease my mind. Is there a favorite strain you enjoy? And I like gelato. 41 to be exact. Why that one in particular? There's a lot of different names, a lot taste. of different strains. There's a taste that I like about it. Like, and, and it gets you just some type of high. How do you smoke it? Backwoods only. Certain type of backwoods flavor? I, I like Russian cream the most. But they run out fast. Now, do you remember the first time you ever smoked weed? Yeah. Can you take us back to that moment? Can you paint that picture for us? Of course, because like it was the first time my mama caught me. Mm. <laughs> like my mom and dad used to smoke weed. Well, my mom stopped. My dad, he kind of stopped too, but like they had a little ashtray in their room or whatever. And my mom left and I went to the ashtray and I lit that motherfucker up. And she, I guess she left something, like on some movie type shit. So she came back in the house and I heard I was like, and I still had smoke in the mouth and she was coming up with steam and she was like, open your mouth. And when I opened my mouth, like all kind of smoke came out and she, she like act like she was crying, she kept, but she went crying for it and she was like, yeah, you hurt me or whatever. And then I kind of got, got into like an incident or whatever where I couldn't leave the house. So, she was in there smoking, and I was just staring at the blunt while she was smoking. And she was like, uh, you want to hit it, don't you? And I was like, no, 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 no. And she was like, yeah, I know. And she was like, well, I'm about to go downstairs. When I come back, it just need to be clear in here. So I was like, oh, shit. So I hit it. And ever since then, my mom knew I smoked. <laughs> How old was this? I was just getting out of high school. And maybe 17, 18? I was just turning 17. So she was mad and okay with it at the same time? She just didn't want me to smoke outside. Like, she didn't want nothing, want me doing nothing that would lead me down the wrong path. So they kind of let me do whatever I wanted to do unless it, like, as long as it didn't harm me. Kind of surprised you hit your first uh, blunt at 17 because I've done interviews where people try it much younger. Yeah, I, I was smoking before that, though. You were? Mm hmm That was just my first blunt of, of good weed. Ah. <laughs> How young do you think it started? I was smoking in Cabin Home. Cabin Home been gone for a minute. I think I started smoking when I was like, I hit my, like the first time I ever pulled a blunt of weed was like when I was 13. Mm. Back then at 13, was it influence? Was it peer pressure? Was a curiosity. Nah, we were just bad as hell. And you, you, you clarified by saying the first time you pulled. So I'm guessing you tried to smoke before but didn't get high. Like, I was high as hell and it was scary because, like, we got high and we laid down on the field. It was a field in Capitol Home and we had a security guard. And it was me, a dude named Chris Chris, my cousin Cat Eye, and we were just smoking or whatever, and security came, and they chased us all the way through Capitol Hill. We got away, and when we got away, my cousin, brother, older brother, we was walking to the house, and they was behind me, and like I was so high, I was like, I think they finna do something to me, so I kind of like ran home, <laughs> and like my grandma locked us out, so we had to stay out the whole night till the next morning. <laughs> she ain't play that shit. Now, um, that could be a scary situation, but it wasn't scary as far as the high was scary. It was just the scary in the event that you had the security guard chasing you and that sort of thing. Nah, I was thinking, really thinking my cousin was really about to do something to me. And oh. I know they love me like a motherfucker. <laughs> so some sort of paranoid feeling. Yeah, the paranoid. 
Now, here's my question. When somebody smokes and, like you said, pulls for the, for the first time and they experience something like this, right, where I've heard people have good experiences the first time they get high. You, it doesn't sound so good. Right. But you are a heavy smoker today. So what would lead you to continue to try when you had a bad experience? I think I'm crazy. <laughs> like, I don't really got it all. Like, that kind of stuff really, like, makes me anxious to know, like, what if I do it again, what would happen? Like, would I get higher and <laughs> some aliens come grab me or some shit? Like, that's what I'd be on. So it sounds like it could be like an adrenaline rush. Almost like, let's see what, if this situation could get any worse or what. It's almost, I don't know, that's crazy. There's some people, they get a paranoid feeling, they never want to feel like that again. You mm. kind of try to tap it and push it and... I'm on it. <laughs> now, you mentioned your mom smoked, she stopped. You mentioned your dad, he stopped at some point. Uh, or you think so. Uh, did you ever smoke with them? I smoked with my dad. What, the, the first time you smoked with him, was that awkward? Nah, because he was sneaky. He didn't want my mama to know he let us hit it. We was downstairs, so, nah. He already knew you had been smoking and that sort of thing? He, my dad like my brother, so if I was smoking, he didn't care anyway. As long as I wasn't out here killing people, he, he, I was selling dope. But. Uh, at this point, did he assume you were a smoker or he was just like, hey, you want to try it? You could try it. They used to tell on me all the time in the cab. So one time they they told him and he cussed them out. Like, my son don't fucking smoke. Like, he play basketball. Right? But I was smoking like that. Mm. <laughs> I see. Now, you do smoke a lot. Uh, why so much? I don't know, because, like... The more I smoke, it's like the bigger my tolerance got. Do you think if you smoked a stronger strain, you wouldn't smoke as much? Yeah, because I like when I smoke the gelato, I have to put it out. Mm. So yeah. <laughs> Are you addicted? I'm addicted, I'm addicted. I got a song like that, but no, nah, I ain't addicted to nothing. Uh, I'm not that small-minded. Long as you went without it. Actually, was it um, like almost a month? That was on purpose or it just so happened to be like that? No, nah, I had to. <laughs> had to meaning like some sort of law situation? Uh, yeah, I just had to. Aside from that, have you ever had to? Tr have you ever tried to quit, or been asked to quit? I I be getting asked to quit a lot. <laughs> you have. Yeah. Why? He just want to be an asshole. <laughs> and you were looking at your manager. Yeah. <laughs> um, what about with women? Has that ever been a deal breaker? What? You being a smoker, maybe somebody you meet, they're not a smoker. Uh, they're going to have to accept whatever I come with, just like I'm going to accept whatever they come with. But has that ever ruined a relationship? Nah, because most of the relationships I got in was with smokers. Marijuana can be an expensive habit. Yeah, it is. Uh, with your personal use, ever calculated it, how much you spend in, let's say, a month? I would say 50 times five, that's 250 times one. I'd say $1,000 a month, the minimum. And the maximum? I don't know. I need to stop. $1,000, I can do a lot with that. You could. Is it worth it? Is that amount of money you spend worth it? I mean, I don't cherish money, so 